Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Uh, we are going over pictures today. Mm -hmm. We missed a week, Steve. We missed a week. I'm very sorry about it. People get really upset when we miss them, and I get it. Get, I get it. You'll, you'll get over it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it'll be all right. If you want to see your pictures on this show, you got to email them. Send them to pics at greengridiron.com. It might take a couple of weeks, but we will get to them, we hope. Yeah, so you, you have to email them. We say you mm -hmm. have to email them. What we really mean by that is you have to email them. Right. And it's <laughs> astonishing how many people will ask us on Instagram and Facebook, Can I just hey, message? How, how do I send my pictures in? Email. Just email them. Email, yep. email, yep. email. Keep them coming. It's yeah, all so, good. Steve, enough of that. Yep. Let's get into these pictures here. Cool. Starting with Tommy. His and his brother's helmets. His brother graduated from this school, won all sorts of awards. And his helmet is the new so, blank one. Yeah, so we got a very, what I think is a really super cool helmet. I love seeing these helmets where everyone goes to the All-Star Games and they put everybody else's, yep. they, they swap decals. And I think that's just a cool thing. So do I. Yeah. Um, and it really makes for some unique pieces because it turn, basically turns it in from, from a piece of safety equipment into a piece of art that now that's going to have memories for that person that are yep. unique to that person. For a lifetime. I'm going to go with a 6.5 on okay. this. Yeah. Uh, both speed flex helmets. Love those. Pretty basic. Yeah. The, the all black one, obviously. It looks yeah. like it's you know, pretty much right out of the box and then kind of used a little bit. But the other one I think is fantastic. He's waiting. And normally I just agree with your scoring, but... Um, but not today? No, we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. We'll see what happens. Uh, this one is, like, fantastic. Thank you for sending these in. Check this out. Right out of the equipment room, man. Tell, tell, us, tell us from a photography standpoint, why don't you talk about this. Okay, so... Because what I'm seeing here is the helmet in the foreground, not the same white as the helmets in the back. Why mm. is that? Fluorescent lighting is just the worst. And it's sitting on the red, so it's just picking up the color, which the green lights, the red box is making it kind of a mustard yellow. Um, it's just if that, hel that front helmet was a little, little bit better, it would have been awesome, but I, it's bright in there, back there. But this is the first of its kind that we've got on this show, at least from an equipment room, where you can see the bare bones helmets, then the decaled ones. I like it. it tells a story. Yeah. We got a broom in the background, yeah. which means someone's using it, I guess. Somebody's cleaning which in is there. Good. Yeah. Nice, so that tells me it's a nice clean locker room, hopefully, right. knock yeah. on wood. Um, the helmet is pretty basic, but I love a black and white color scheme. I call it, a, you know, the stormtrooper look. Uh, we got a lightweight face mask. This is probably a high school, maybe a JV. Mm -hmm. um, Vernon Middle School. Middle School. There yep. you go. Yep. Uh, and so I'm going to give this guy a 6.5 as well. There you go. Go yeah. Mustangs. But I think it's cool because it tells a story with all the helmets in the background. And Same here. That's the it's first. Like, it's like they're getting ready for the season. So this one is cool. And I don't like when people use like crazy names or company names or like just you tell us your real name so this was like a, a whole thing let's just call him nh because uh, that's how it comes over the way that i get it um but he went to wildcat stadium and university of new hampshire with his helmets and he did a really nice job yeah these are cool you know uh where i grew up unh is university of new haven so when <laughs> i see unh i think new haven the real I unh don't think they have a football program at uh, least they do I don't know that I don't think they did back in the day, but uh, University of New Hampshire. I mean, this is a this is a legit college program here. Yes, yes. Um, and I love the pictures. I love the the angles and all that stuff. So you tell me, Steve, are these iPhone or cell phone or are these legit? I think these are legit. And I tried seeing if it was just a cell phone on portrait mode, but no. I think this was probably with like a a T four I or a sixty D okay. or something like that. Yep. Yeah, because I think that I think that they look pretty good. I love the color schemes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, that's what's cool. You know, and I'm going to give these a little bit of, of a boost. I mean, yeah, I guess I have to grade this as kind of a, a collegiate level helmet. Yeah, and they are relatively um, basic helmets, but they're super clean. So I'm going to go with a 7.1. Mm, there you go. Yeah. The one with the blue and and silver helmet together with all the award decals. Really, really nice. Thanks for yeah, sending that in. I like it. All right, next up, Noah. All right, Noah. Going with the helmet stack. Trying to get fancy here. This just is the first time we've seen a, a stack like that, right? Yeah, I think so. Now, just check out, I know you'll get into the details, but 
there is a lot going on with these. There is, and it's jumping out right away at me, and I'm giving extra credit points for all kinds of stuff on here. So we've got, obviously, the green gridiron 3D bumper on the front. We've got a shock visor in one of them. We've got um, TX EG face mask. We've got the safe clips on both of these guys. We've got Sportstar ratchet strap, chin straps. Um, My favorite face mask on both of them right now, at least. Yeah. Love that. The uh, SF2EG TX. We got, we got a lot going on in the pack back as well. We've got an embossed tag flag. We've got some more uh, 3D bumpers. We've got our logo on one of them. We got a California flag it's on both of them. Yep. Um, the one on the top. We need to get rid of that warning label and put. It looks like he tried to. And should I give him the tip on how to do sure, it? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Tell the world. Take a hair dryer to it or a, on high for like five minutes, and that thing will just goo right off. And then use a natural citrus cleaner to just remove it or a heat gun for like 30 seconds and it'll... And, and be aware, when you remove a warning label from a helmet, it voids the warranty. So you gotta get a, you have to have a warning label on yeah. there. And it doesn't... be playing on the field with it, these things. And it doesn't make the game any less dangerous. It does not. <laughs> so I love this setup. I'm just gonna, that's the only thing I have to say about I'm it. I'm giving these guys, because of all those little pieces in there, I'm gonna go with a 7.0. Oh. Yeah. A stingy? Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's right. He's, yeah. he's putting his foot down. Okay. I love the gold. The, gold, the, the color of the gold. How is it? Really nice. I was expecting higher. All right. Next up, Mike M. I like Mike M's photo style. I like what Mike's doing here. That he's he's he, he's. I mean, we got a Batman and we've got the Flash, yeah. right? And I don't know what that. What's that? That logo or that thing on the back of the Batman helmet? You know, I don't know. I. I honestly I'm, don't know. I think it's his belt buckle, maybe, or it's some sort of an alternate. I mean, there's obviously a Batman symbol of some sort. This might be some hardcore Batman fan stuff that I just don't or know. Or maybe it's not, and we're, and we're just and not we're just even over. level one Batman fans. I don't know. But I think it's cool <laughs> to see stuff like this. Um, we think about doing stuff like this all the time. The, the face mask on the Flash helmet looks like it's... Painted or it's, it's like a, a canary yellow. Yeah, it's a different color yellow, yeah. and that's not a that's not a stock color, uh, which is interesting. The mm. yellow on the Batman helmet though is right on. That's what we call Green Bay Gold, and that pretty much looks like it matches the yellow in the Batman decal, pretty close. I love how we got a little vignette going around all the pictures. They look dark. You know what? Are these these aren't minis, are they? Um, yeah. They actually, they are. They look like minis. They are minis. Because look at how big the visor clip is on that face mask. The visor clip does look That's big. a fantastic visor for a mini. These are minis, dude. Like, look at the hardware. Yeah. I love it. And you know now- Fooled us for a solid minute. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that at all. Yeah. Um, and I guess now, especially seeing them on the floor, mm -hmm. man, those would be really big. Tiles. I mean, it's a, we were busy looking at the helmets, at the logos. If, if you're not looking, you're not looking. And to me, that's great. That means he did a good job. But I'm going to be grading these as mini helmets now, which is going to give them a bump. Absolutely. Um, and I'm going to go with I'm going to go with a seven point nine. Okay. All right. You you deserve I that. I love superhero stuff. Next up, Mario. And let's see. He says something. So he's um, oh he played for the Munich. Rangers, my bad. Is a photo in from the Munich Rangers? Or is that a different team in Germany? I don't know, man. I don't remember. Um, so he said uh, he retired from football about a month ago, so he gave the helmet the look that he always wanted it to have that he couldn't quite do on the field, and he did the stripes with electrical tape. And <laughs> I'm telling you right now, excellent work. Yeah. Really, really on the photos and on the I helmet. love how he's got the numbers on here. Dude, this that, is... We might have to steal that idea. For the back, that looks amazing. Yeah, that looks really, really, really good. I like it. The stripes and the numbers make it. I mean, even the, you know, on the face mask looked great. Yeah, you know hard that is to do it electrical tape, too, without stretching yeah, it. I'm Look gonna, at the face mask. I'm going to guess he had to use, like, a heat gun or something to kind of really get it to, to I guess it so. Dude, it looks beautiful there, too. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I, I'm going to give this guy a... a 8.2. Those okay. stripes are really taking it. It's yeah. some, something that's uh, unique. Next up, Mark C. 
All right, Mark. So we've got, I've seen these helmets before, um, I think on Instagram. So we've, oh, got, yeah. we've got some uniqueness here. So we've obviously got Great. Um, Patrick Mahomes' uh, Vices helmet, yeah. and then we have Tom Brady's Speed Flex helmet. We've got what appears to be a Tom Brady Speed Flex face mask. Now, he said that he got that from Haas Mask. Yeah. And we love Haas Masks. So and, 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 and that means we, it probably came through our doors to get it coated. Yep. Um, I, I, do we have the back of the helmets? Yep. Okay. We've got the back of the helmets. So we got numbers. we got 3D bumpers. Uh, we got the NFL 100 logo. I guess there's probably one on the Mahomes helmet as well, the Vices. I believe it we is, got, yeah. You see. Yeah, we've got uh, embossed tech flags, at least on one of them, on Tom Brady's helmet. Yep. Uh, so these are about as, as feel... I mean, really, really, really close to field accurate. Let's he, see. If he said got, his, he's cut the arrows. Cut on the, the arrows. Yep. Does, does he do the bottom? Where's our Mahomes? No, the bottom doesn't get cut. And the only thing I'm going to see, and you asked for advice, I think, either way, I'm going to give it to you. There's one thing I missed, or I see that he yeah, missed. Talking to um, it looks like the 15 on the bottom of the chin strap isn't present. And... Um, you, you can see here they actually put a, a 15 there. It's like a, um, a gold. Other than that, I think he's got this thing nailed. Yeah, I think I so mean, too. You see, he, he even on the Speed Flex, the dome screws are in place. Now with Tom Brady wearing that Speed Flex, you should paint those black bladder valve cap silver because that's what he wears a precision fit. You know, and if you want to get crazy with it. Yeah, and I can't tell if the... Speed Flex adapters from Sportstar are painted silver. Yeah. Yep, they look like they are. Which is great. So, so, so good. Yeah, these are fantastic. Absolutely love them. I'm gonna, and I know the work that went into getting yeah. these. You can't just go out and get a, a Vices helmet and, and, and do no. all of this no. very easily at all. I'm going to give these guys a 9.3. There you go. I, yeah. I, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Nice man. job, Mark. Great, Mark. great work. Next up, Caden. There was a little something in here. I, hey, I'm Caden. I played football in Maine. Oh, he did something a little bit different. So this is the first person that we've seen where they have the cam lock and they put a regular sports star chin strap in Nice, there. yeah. Um, and look at these photos. Yeah. Those are legit. He's got the, little, he's got the rabbit great. ears going on. Yeah. We like that. We've got nice stripes. we got a, a Shock 1.0 visor. We've got, obviously, like Steve said, we've got the sports star chin strap. Overall, and he, we have a really nice red, white, and blue. I know. Like, I mean, can you really not love red, white, and blue? You got Anything? to. And that huge center stripe, he cut it on the flex Which part. Which is not easy nice. to do because no. if that's all one decal, which it appears to be, it doesn't want to lay down right. It can, because it's, you know, you're putting something flat on a round object. Yeah. yeah, and it starts to kind of buckle up in certain spots. I'm going to go with, uh, for this guy, I'm going to go with an 8.1. Caden. Yeah. Great work. Good thanks stuff. for thanks for those good I like photos. The ears. So do I. I know. The cam lock with the sports star. Yeah, that's big. So next up, Kali. Hi, um, Kali, like the Kali River. Now, am I saying that right? Because I think so. Even sure. the river. Okay. He's twelve, and here are my helmet picks. Um, from Buccaneers, I purchased things from you in the past for you and your viewers. Uh, as a well-spoken twelve-year-old, and look at how great. He did with these photos. Good, good work, man. It almost looks like this one. The, the, this is the the last picture. It almost looks like it's floating a little bit. I know, and I cropped it a little bit tighter. He went beyond the grass to the rocks, but I just like the way it looked sitting on the grass, so I cropped it. But I love that haze and that color scheme with the. Looks look at like those. Look at those shoes. Looks like it's out on a farm somewhere. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. It. This looks like it was shot in my backyard. I literally have those rocks and those steps. Basics. Are you secretly Kaylee? I didn't do it. Kali, Kali, I didn't do it. Kali. Basic yeah. setup here with some pretty simple upgrades. So this is a Shock 2.0 visor, which are no longer available. We've got a, uh, an all blacked out Sports Star uh, ratchet strap, chin strap, and it's just all black with a yeah. touch of white. Obviously, the red from the Riddell logos. I think I think this is a great look. I'm going to give this guy a 7.6. Yeah. Good work. Really nice photos. Jonah, love how people are going to stadiums and into locker rooms and telling that story. 
This one is cool with the clouds reflecting off the helmet. How great is that? Honestly, yeah. that's, that's an awesome picture with the clouds in the blue. Super, super cool. Looks like there's, um, you tell me if there was some uh, upping the contrast on here. The red on, in that, in mm -hmm. the, on the bumper here for Riddell mm -hmm. looks a little... A little hyper red. I'm yeah. sure that he went in a little, maybe boosted the saturation a touch. But I'll tell you what, actually even indoors, unless he did the exact same thing, Either way, I like it. It's it's great. One way, one way, one way or the other. A lot of blue. I liked all the blue. Uh, so do I. I'm a fan. You got blue in the stands. You got blue in the sky. You got blue in the helmet. You got blue in the on the grass. Mm hmm. Yeah. Good work, I'm man. Give ex extra points for blue. All right. I'm gonna go with a. Uh, I'm gonna go with a seven point five. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. That's that, you like that, those that, pictures. That, yeah, and it's the pictures are really <laughs> kind of boosting that one up. I mean, the helmet was pretty basic. Yeah. But but it looks sharp and clean. Now, is, is this Adrian? Adrian? I don't want to. I don't want to butcher your How name. How about we call him the Adrian? Okay. Like the A train. But the, oh the -train. man, that's that's a stretch. But I'll give it to you. I've been watching your channel for a few years now, and you got me hooked on helmets. Here's a couple of from my forty nine at Levi Stadium. Bright, mm -hmm. sunny day. That helmet looks really familiar. So this is what we got going on with this helmet. So this is what appears to be a authentic Riddell collectible helmet. You take this, you can put it, wear it on your head. He's upgraded the, uh, the visor. He's upgraded the face mask. And it looks like just those two things. It looks like it's, it's yep. the stock chin strap that comes with the helmet. He's got a couple of decals that he's put on the back. He's put a matching warning label on there. So he took off the warning label yep. that came with the helmet put one on that matches. Um, he's got the 87 on there for Dwight Clark. That sounds right, and I can see the video and the catch in my head. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he's got an insert in the visor. Yep. So just a couple of little upgrades, and I really think that it takes it to another level. Uh, a pretty unique face mask in the... I like S it a lot. It's, it's the S3 BDU. There's the S3 BDU, which is what this is, and if it, if it, was the S3 BDU SP? It would be a straight bar that uh, comes okay. down. But yeah, this is the uh, one of the originals. Um, so I'm going to give this guy extra bonus points for all it's of those nice. things. And if you have a collectible helmet, this is this is how easy it is to take it to another level. Having cool. the stadium in the background and all that—that's just bonus. I'm going to give this guy an 8.2. 8.2. I like it. Good job. This is the season to get to get this out is. to get out your gear, to get out and show show your team spirit and all it, that. It really is, and we want to see your collectibles and your field use helmets and your terrible photos of terrible helmets, on top of the good ones. But we want to do an ugly show. Let's do an ugly show. Yeah, right? like, like 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 you know the world's ugliest dog yeah. competition. We'll do world's. I want. I want. Maybe we should do an ugliest helmet competition. I think we should go for. What it. should we give the the folks if if it's the ugliest? Maybe how about this? Uh, an NFL replica helmet of their choice. Oh, damn. You were going, like, legit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because they need it. You're I mean, if you've got the ugliest helmet out there, uh -huh. prove it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make sure that you get a helmet in your hands that's not so ugly. All right. So send in your ugly photos as well as your good photos. And uh, thank you for spending your weekend with us. And don't forget to submit your pictures. Yes. So like, subscribe, click the notification bell below if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.